Okay, so the one thing I was like the thing I had on um uh, on tap here is uh the watching TV on Twitch meta. So today I just well, I was at work and I was bored. I decided to go through the just chatting section and then just like see how many people were like violating um terms of service by just like watching television and a lot of them too are just like a lot of them just don't fucking care so I'm just going through the just chatting section right now One thing I found out today was play Viacom for what? Like them doing their job and like making sure their intellectual property was uh uh protected. I recall my mic watching Kitchen Nightmare some time ago. Yeah, that was like like honestly if he was still doing that like I don't I don't know what the situation right now is like he, he doesn't stream like a whole lot more uh in the last little while but like if he kept going with that like he might actually have gained some viewership it's like oh wow this guy's doing the same thing as XQC let's go check him out I mean he probably would get in a big hunk of trouble right now but uh my my uh oh no uh Viacom or like Nintendo when it comes to DMCA I mean Again, like it's their, it's their property. Like, here's what I'm not against. If it's like a particular clip that you just want to have some commentary on, go for it. But I am not going to defend anyone that is just got Avatar, like maybe they're playing on their phone. And then just showing this on stream. Like, I can't defend that. I'm trying to see, like, a lot of these are just like me. Like, they're on, they're just on camera talking. Although, I'll flip it over. All right, I don't have this up on stream deck. Okay. There is someone just blatantly broadcasting WWE pay per views. And that's just why. Oh, I got. I gotta be careful. There's all. There's. There's a friends over at Hover. What up, Hover? I know you're not watching this because you're. You know you're streaming right now. But uh... we'll flip back. Uh, yeah. Like I said, Hover is. Hover's been really good. Like I again, I gotta get the game days for good channel on there. I gotta be careful what's on here. My kid show this probably. Viacom was responsible for the big YouTuber purge all those years ago. Um, well, I mean, here's the thing: like, YouTube, like when it first started, YouTube was the Wild West. Like, if you wanted to watch any old cartoon, people would upload it without without any uh, care or regard. And they were kind of like, I mean, that's their property. They they do what they want with it. Like, honestly, I'm surprised Sony has not gone after a bunch of people putting up clips from uh, No Way Home because I'm not actively searching for it. But yet it's coming up my recommended fees. Like, hey, here's that clip of redacted in this part of the movie you haven't seen. I'm like, fuck off. There's a guy streaming Arthur. Uh, the guy who's streaming UFC pay-per-view pretending it was a video game. Oh, yeah. Like, that shit's funny. Does Dana White have every right to ban that guy? Or to call Twitch and say, hey, ban this fucker. He's showing my pay-per-view for free. Absolutely. On TikTok? No, YouTube. 
No, literally, I opened up YouTube because I was getting stuff ready for tonight. And a clip of No Way Home with a person in it that was not in trailers is right there front and center. How does this keep slipping through the cracks? Like, I can't upload a YouTube video using a clip from a movie without it getting claimed. But someone is allowed to post a clip from a movie still in theaters and it not get deleted or taken down. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And also, I have this theory that, like, Russia might be paying Twitch under the table because, like... Like, I'm pretty sure that this would be in the Russian language, but... Like, Family Guy. I have no idea what this is. I thought this was like it's like some, some stream avatar was like nah this is like um uh avatar if it was made by that uh oh god what's the name of that company that makes all those horrible Europe PS2 games with the horrible animations like Snow White and the Curious Sons that shit Oh, I got, I got, I got someone in Spanish broadcasting, uh, Family Guy. Okay, I'm gonna check the retro section because retro. There are people getting away with some shit in there, too. Well, there's salty bats. I love salty bats. Is this pre is someone just watching Predator right now? I wait for this Nicorette ad to go through. I'm not going to put it on stream because I don't want to get in trouble. I saw from the thumbnail that it might be Predator. So I've recognized Predator from anything. It could be, I mean, it could not be Predator, but maybe. Nope, Total Recall, different Arnold movie. And there's Sam Fisher with the uh, gold to cut. <laughs> but yeah, just full on streaming movies. Like, honestly, like Twitch, if you want to pay me to sit at home, go through everyone's, like, go through, like, all the categories and find people doing illegal shit, I will smack them down <laughs> with a bam hammer. So fast. You pay me to pay me to ban people. Oh yeah, here it is. So it's called uh uh Hulk Kick and Bottom. And this guy just replays old WCW and WWF uh pay-per-views. Oh wow, this sounds a little kingdom heartsy. Yeah, and and here's the thing about that, because Donut says right here, it's really amazing what people think they can get away with on Twitch. And that's the scary thing. And there are some back and forths going on with uh, Ludwig and uh, Hassan and Jack Septicai uh bumped in. Now I don't I don't watch any of uh Jack Septicai stuff. Uh so I don't have anything, you know, negative or positive to say about the dude. I mean, I've used his sounds on uh, TikTok, and they're, you know, kind of hilarious. But I had to like and retweet this because... Oh, I didn't even... Uh... No, it was from White's Critical. So, I want to bring up the thread. You can see this on Twitter here. So, no one likes DMCA. No one is licking corporate ass uh, and applauding them for banning Pokimane. 
Uh, it's just common sense you can't stream a full TV series, anime, movie franchise on Twitch. No studio will ever say, yeah, if you buy our Blu-ray, you can stream it up to 40k people who haven't. Uh, just try to find here. Uh... Oh, it's something else. Okay, so yeah, this is what Jack said. Uh, people always forget the smaller creators too. Uh, people always forget about the smaller creators too. When bigger creators push the limits. When the ad populace happened on YouTube, it was the smaller channels that got ruined by it. Same thing will happen here. If it keeps going, big channels will live, but smaller ones get fucked. This is completely true. Because here's the thing, guys. You know, one, one of the other ma major reasons why I... Stopped having consistent upload schedule on YouTube and why I didn't I stopped doing like edited content is because the adpocalypse yeah it affected the bigger guys so that's why you have every video say this is this one sponsored by Blue Apron or this is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends it fucked over the big guys but we got fucked over the most because they now said you need to have a thousand uh, subs and you need four thousand hours watched before we even consider you being a partner like and I had this scary scary thought if this continues on if like twitch like keeps putting a blind eye to stuff like this we could have a situation where twitch says okay we're going to disable every affiliate on this on this on the service here are the new affiliate goals like average viewership will probably go up Followers have to go up. Stream time will have to go up. And like you can't have any VODs muted. And then they'll consider you like the app. The application process for affiliate will probably be even more egregious and more harmful. And who knows? They might even take a bigger cut of sub revenue. They're like, oh, we got to cover our asses. We got to ban all you guys for. Uh, and, you know, we're losing out on revenue because. Y'all, y'all are watching movies on Twitch. Because the scary thing is, is that there's, there's really no robot system to automatically flag stuff like this. It kind of has to be reported on. There was, it was, it, it kind of happened with uh, Sharp by Sarah Gopher on Mixer and its dying days. I think on the final day of its existence, Eric was like. Let's just see how quick I can get banned. And played almost the entirety of Letterkenny on there. I think they made it up to halfway for like uh uh Dwayne uh or Wayne and uh Tannis going to the wedding. And after a while, we just started like I, I think it was like me, Shiro, Banana Poet. We just started mass reporting his channel saying like, yo, copyright, copyright infringement, copyright infringement, copyright infringement. And then bam, shut off. We were just like, we're waiting for it to happen naturally. So maybe that's what happened. A lot of people were reporting Pokemon saying like, yo, she's just got Avatar on here. Now, again, if it was just like a clip, if it was like... But that's again that, that's the, that's where the line with all this has to be established it says what's acceptable can i just show this really short clip of the battle of hoth on empire strikes back not show the whole movie i just like hey look at this cool thing you know that's it's, it's things that people disagree with that's i mean that's what people like doing like the media share thing but some people aren't even afraid to do that anymore because, like, if the media share thing comes up, bam, like, the whole channel could be gone. As far as me goes, like, this is just a hobby to me. If I get caught for doing something and Twitch is like, yo, you're gone, I will just go to a different platform. I'll make no money. And... You know, it'll have to be maybe less content from me. But, you know, if I did this for the money, 
if I did this solely for the money, I would have been gone years ago. Because I was like, I'm not making as much money as I want to. Let's just go. I don't do it for the money. I do it because it's fun. It's just a hobby. And if Twitch wants to pay me a little bit of money here and there, you know, I think I've made more money on Twitch than I have for any other platform. I think my like I I've I've disclosed is my highest earnings on YouTube has been like twenty bucks. No, sorry, no, 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 a hundred. Because AdSense has the same thing; they can't they won't pay you out unless you hit a certain threshold. It was twenty dollars on Blip, but I made that faster than I did on YouTube. If you can believe that. That's why it's sad to see Blip gone because Blip's uh, payout uh, and their CMP was, was so much higher than YouTube. And they are more accustomed to dealing with fair use than uh, anything else. However, as the big however, uh, if you tried to run a wrestling organization and you posted your matches on there, they are quick to take that channel down. So I have no idea where those videos are. We tried that as another source of income. It was gone. I don't know what happened. I watched a video from uh, Richard for Tech Viewers. Uh, Retech, uh, uh, Review Tech. <laughs> Blah, yeah, I messed that up. Rich of Re Review Tech USA on the issue. Oh, yeah. I'm sure everyone's got like, like the hottest of takes on this. And I know some of them do. Like one, like, like some of them have just been like basically like we don't care like we're gonna do what we want i don't know if this goes back to the whole like do these people have dirt on some of the admins yeah i don't know i have no idea what happened to that dr disrespect and suing twitch But no, like, uh, yeah, Septicai hit, hit the hit, hit the head on the nail there. It's just like, yeah, like, this is gonna get slammed. Uh, what's this guy say? This is one of the biggest things I'm nervous about, especially for all the great creators. They're just starting out. A lot of newer people on the platform have been putting tremendous work into growing. Even if it's just a slice bit, and this is going to ruin that experience. <laughs> and someone's like saying, no, it's not. If you suck the copyright law, they'll be fine. It's like, it's not us that we're worried about. I mean, it's not our content that we're worried about because we're playing with the rules. It's the bigger guys that aren't playing with the rules. Like, I was going to scroll down through Retro even more and just see if I can find anything else. But other than that, it just seems to be people, you know, playing Retro games, having fun. But yeah, that was my big, like, big sweats this morning when I woke up and I just had that realization after what Jack Septic I tweeted out. I was just like, this could very well happen on Twitch where they'll just fuck over anyone that's not partner and they're gonna be like, yeah, affiliates, you're gone. You now, like the only money we're going to give to are partners. You want bits and subs and, and, uh, emotes. That's it. So we've never really had this conversation, uh, within the game days for good community, uh, group. I'll tell you this much though. If it were to happen, let, let's just say in a worst case scenario, if game days were good, lost affiliate because of the bullshit of the bigger streamers, we would still continue to stream, but we would put more emphasis on just directly donating uh, to Extra Life. So like we would make every single stream about like, yo, let's try and hit our goals we probably would switch over to monthly goals. Uh, you know. Uh, and there have also been talks of um, not just donating to Extra Life, but to other charities as well uh, throughout the year. Because, you know, 
We do a lot of great work for Extra Life, but we feel like we can do more. <laughs>